guys, I'm back with a brand new video. I'm doing them all, so if you want to stay tuned and see how this disastrous mess turned out, then keep watching. So first off, I am taking the concealer in Hide the Blemish Golden Beige. This was like one of the first thick ones I've tried and it was really good, but that was years ago. So let's see how it's going to be. Can you even see that? Oh my god, look at that spot that disappeared out of nowhere. Quite pinky. In terms of stick concealer, Rimmel ain't that great about it. So I would suggest maybe trying their liquid because they're bringing out, they're bringing out like a new one. That's apparently good. I forgot you have to use your finger when use the stick because it literally doesn't move okay next we're taking the foundation it's last and finished 25 hour medium coverage again you can't tell in this light but this foundation is so orange it doesn't match me Rimmel's colour is just like way off. I look like an Oompa Loompa right now and I'm glad you can't see it. I'm not even a fan of this foundation. I actually bought it when I was in school. And I used to wear it and I hated it then. So I bought it again to see if it like upgraded because new formula and all that but not a fan. Okay, so I've just lightened up my foundation because there was no way, it was just so orange. The Clear Complexion one in Transparent. I love this powder so much. I used it again years ago, but when it ran out, I tried, because I like trying different products, I didn't buy it again. But I mean, there's nothing more to say, everyone knows how great this is. Next we're moving on to brows. This may be in one brand video, it's more like I'm using all the products I hate. This is so shit, don't recommend. Like nothing comes out. It doesn't fill them in. I can't definitely can't do a tail with these. So here, I've never used this, is the Colour Precise Eyeliner up to 24 hours. Sure. Okay, so it's got a really thin tip and, well, how am I going to put eyeliner when, okay. Let's just hope for the best, that's what I do in these videos. Guess I'm going for the Amy Winehouse look today. Okay, I've had enough of that eyeliner. That's the best I could do. One's going up, one's going straight. I'm not in the mood. That eyeliner is so, so shit. It was basically running out. I was literally shaking it to try and get something out. As if I've had it for six months. And that was the first use I've ever used it. Also, it felt really draggy. So it kind of hurt, it was pulling in my eye. For brand new, it's not even that black really. Pretty shit, let's just say. Let's just move on to the face. So I have a 3-in-1 face kit from Kate Moss, a highlighter, bronzer and blush. I got the one in dark. Let's see if this is any good. I'm praying it is. Because you know how expensive it was. I 
Okay, let me just blend it in and give it a go. That colour looks a bit off for me. It looks pretty natural on camera, but in the... Mm -mm, in real life, that colour is not great. Maybe because I'm wearing like a shitty foundation and, and my base is horrible. It's why nothing's going right. Let's see how much of a glow this gives me. It's more of a champagne and I don't like, I hate champagne eyeliners. Okay, it is good, it is blinding, but for 6 99 I'm not going to want to just buy the highlighter when the bronzer and blush is a bit... Mm. Thank God this looks amazing in camera because my face right now looks complete shit. Yeah, the blush is really pink and it has gold reflex so technically if you use blush you don't really need a highlight because when you apply it, it looks like highlight. How am I going to re put reflectify this face? You know what, let's just put mascara on because I'm not having it. This is the Lash Accelerator Endless Grow Lash Complex and Fibers Mascara. But it ain't that good because I've only, I've only used this once. Because let's be real. Remember all the mascaras, don't really do anything. This mascara makes them so gappy, your lashes, like they're really spaced out. Let's just move on to lips. So I've got the stain matte in, what colour is this? I think it's midnight, yeah, it's midnight. So going for a really bold look, maybe, to stand out. It would draw attention to this and not what's going up in here. And that is it. So that's the lips. Oh, that's quite a good look. Dark lips and quite natural up here. Doesn't look too bad. The thing about the lipstick is I don't like it as well. It is so patchy. Another thing is it's called Stay Matte, but it's not actually matte because it does transfer. If you saw close up how my face is looking right now, like I literally have got mascara under my eye. My eyeliner's not even done properly. I've got my scar up here, but I just don't care with this video. So that is it for the end of my video. I do not like Rimmel. I wouldn't recommend Rimmel. I'd say maybe try the Wake Up, Wake Me Up range, because apparently it's good. But yeah, apart from that, I wouldn't recommend it. The only thing in this video I would say you should get is the powder literally only the powder that's the only thing that I liked so yeah hope you guys enjoyed this video comment down your favorite not so favorite Rimmel products and until then I'll see you guys next time